Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at an all new tool that allows you to predict when your next meteor shower will be. It's super useful, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, one of the many charming aspects of Animal Crossing is the weather. Ever since the original, Animal Crossing towns have seen a variety of weather types and we've been able to experience everything from bright sunny days with cloudless skies to dark and somewhat therapeutic heavy rain and thunderstorms. The weather is something that not only makes Animal Crossing that much more immersive, but even affects things within the game, as well as how the player will ultimately play the game that day. For example, heavy rain often brings out the much larger, rarer fish, such as sharks, which are usually pretty difficult to find. During the rain, you'll even see villagers wandering around making use of umbrellas, which is really cute. Of course, this feature has been expanded upon with every iteration of Animal Crossing to include more types of weather, such as various wind speeds, fog, and even things like meteor showers and shooting stars. And this still holds true for New Horizons. Now the weather in Animal Crossing is completely random and unique to an individual town, or in our case, island, which again makes playing much more realistic. It could be a super sunny day here in Morishima, or if I was to visit one of your islands, we could find ourselves in the middle of a thunderstorm. Now thanks to the hard work of data miners, we now know, despite the weather appearing completely random, the weather on our islands is in fact restricted to one of over 2 billion weather patterns, and we'll always follow this specific pattern that was assigned to our islands when we created it. Now with over 2 billion weather patterns and only around 15 million copies of the game sold, it's pretty unlikely you'll ever come across someone whose island always has the same weather as you, which I think is really awesome. Of course you may share very similar days, but ultimately you'll experience different weather eventually. Anyway, the reason this is important is because the information uncovered in recent data mines provides everything we need to know to be able to basically find out our weather pattern and therefore predict the weather. Now you might be wondering why it's important to predict the weather, well as we've already mentioned, the weather affects in-game events, including things like when rainbows spawn, or when the aurora borealis is visible, but more importantly, when meteor showers take place, which I'm sure you'll agree is very good news. Knowing when meteor showers take place will not only help us prepare and invite our friends over so we can obtain as many star fragments as possible, but it means we'll never have to miss one again. Anyway, Ninji, the superstar data miner, has used the information uncovered to build a tool that allows us to find our unique weather pattern and use it to display a weather chart of exact types of weather our island will experience, as well as how many meteor showers we'll get in a given month, amongst other things. And not only that, but once we know our weather pattern, we can even determine when every single shooting star will spawn in, which is amazing. Of course, I understand not everyone would like to know their weather patterns and it could be a bit spoilery, but I think if you do this to find out your meteor shower times, for example, you probably won't remember the hundreds of changes in weather that your island is due to experience anyway. Anyway, with that said, let's take a look at how it works. The tool is called Meteo Nook, and once you load up the website, it looks pretty scary to start with, but I promise it's not as complicated as it first seems. Now to determine your 1 in 2 billion weather pattern, which is called your seed, you need to fill in some data to allow the tool to filter out patterns it knows it isn't until it calculates what your seed is. It's the seed that allows the tool to predict the weather and therefore the meteor showers. The website gives you everything you need to know, but it's as simple as inputting points of reference that you know about, such as when your last meteor shower was or when you last had heavy rain. Now you can simply use this tool for the next few days and log changes in weather as you go, or you can check your recent screenshots and translate the data from that from the past. As you can see, because I took a bunch of screenshots during my last meteor shower, I was able to input that event to start with and work backwards through the days with some other specific times I could see it was cloudy, sunny or raining from the screenshots. If you do it from the screenshots like I did, I highly recommend to remove your SD card and check the screenshots on a computer to get the exact timestamps. Now, it will take quite a bit of information to calculate your seed, but for me, it took adding a couple of points of reference each day for around 10 different days in May and June, and this was enough to calculate my seed. 
Once you think you've provided enough data either from screenshots or from inputting it as you play, you can start your search to check. If you've included something wrong, it will tell you it's incorrect and to check your data or tell you it needs more information. However, once you've added enough, it will filter out 2 billion patterns down to just one. You're going to want to store this seed number for future use. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Once you have your seed, you can save it and now check your weather. Once your seed is saved, if you select the yearly tab, you can get an overview of what to expect. As you can see for me in June, I'm going to have eight light meteor showers, no heavy showers unfortunately, and two rainbows. July looks even better with 10 light meteor showers and a heavy meteor shower and two double rainbows, which is awesome. Anyway, if you select the monthly tab, you can see a more in-depth look at the weather you'll experience. This is June's, but you can select any month or year you like because once you know your seed, you know the exact weather pattern forever. If you check the days of the month to the left, you can see when the meteor showers will occur. You can see my last one was on the 16th of June, which was the one I input from my screenshots, and thanks to knowing which seed my game uses to generate the weather, I know my next meteor shower will be on Monday the 22nd, and actually, I'm going to have three light meteor showers next week in total, which is awesome. Of course, if it interests you, you can also check down to the hour what the weather is going to be like. Anyway, if you click on the day, it will display the changes in weather and even the times the stars will spawn in, which is absolutely mind-blowing. To give you an idea, these are the times the stars will spawn in during the heavy meteor shower next month. So yeah, that's pretty much Meteo Nook. It literally gives you everything you need to know and if you save your seed or write it down, you can check your weather pattern anytime you like. Moving on, just before we wrap things up, this tool also helps you figure out when Celeste will visit sometimes. As you know, assuming it's not raining, Celeste will visit once a week on a random evening after 7pm. She always visits when there's a meteor shower, even if it's just a light shower. So if you use this tool and find a week such as my week 3, where there's only one light meteor shower, you know that's probably the day Celeste will be wandering around, which is super helpful and ensures you never miss her. It's worth noting though, on weeks that have multiple showers, like next week for me, unfortunately she'll choose a random meteor shower day to visit. Anyway, that's quite a lot of information to take in. I hope this was clear enough for you. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to help. But what do you think about this tool? Is this something you'll be using or would you prefer to leave everything as a surprise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Of course, I'd like to thank Ninji for his hard work. If you'd like to show him support or check out the Meteor Nook tool, I'll leave the links below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment weather. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include what type of weather is your favourite. I'd love to know. Personally, I'm a huge fan of heavy rain and thunderstorms. I find it super relaxing and very immersive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.